Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. For this question, we're being asked to prove by mathematical induction that for all positive integers n, uh, that the sequence n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 times all the way up to 2n, that that is equal to 2 to the power of n times bracket 1 times 3 times 5 times all the way up to 2n minus 1. So on the left-hand side, we're basically multiplying by numbers that keep increasing by 1. And on the right-hand side, we've got 2 to the power of n times, and then we're multiplying by numbers that keep increasing by 2. So I'll just uh, write out what we're being asked to prove. So prove n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 times all the way up to 2n, that that's equal to 2 to the n, 1 times 3 times 5 times all the way up to 2n minus 1. Now, we're going to work through the four basic steps of induction, but before I do, for this particular um, question, it can be helpful just to, um, I guess, expand upon what each of these sequences is in terms of what we're multiplying, because it will help when we get to step three in terms of um, putting everything together. So just, if I start by focusing on the left-hand side, so what, what it is is it's, n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 times all the way up to 2n, which is effectively n plus n. And so we're always in, we're taking n and we're adding 1, then 2, then 3. It's always increasing by 1. So really what that is, is it's n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 times and if I write, instead of just the last item in the sequence, the last two items, that would be, well, the, it's the last item, one less. Because remember, everything's always increasing by one times n plus n. And so I'll just um, write that as n plus one, n plus two, n plus three times, and this is 2n minus one, times 2n. And I just think it's, a, it's helpful to just do that preliminary step just to make it very clear that um, for this left-hand side sequence everything is increasing by 1. So the last two items here it's 2n minus 1 times 2n. Um, that may be obvious and not even worth stating but um, if you are struggling with this question it, it can help um, to do something like this, and, and that's quite a common technique with induction actually. If, if you're kind of trying to, you say you're at step three and you can't work out how what you've assumed at step two fits into step three, sometimes it can just be a matter of thinking, well, what's, what's the second last item in the series or the third last? Um, if we do a similar thing for the right-hand side, so what we've got there is it's um, two to the n, times 1 times 3 times 5 times and in this case the second last item would be 2n minus 3 times 2n minus 1 and that's because these are all increasing by 2 so if this is 2n minus 1 as the last item then it must be 2n minus 3 as the second last so um, just a preliminary step you don't actually have to do this to work through this question, but as you'll see later, it is helpful to um, uh, just be really clear on what's happening. So we'll, we'll now work through the basic steps of induction. So step one is to um, show that it's true for n is equal to one. Um, so in that case, our left-hand side would be equal to in this case, if n is equal to 1, it's really just the first item. Um, we're not really multiplying anything because um, we have 1 plus 1, which is 1 plus 1. It, it's all we've got. So 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Uh, the right-hand side would be equal to 2 to the power of 1 times, and in this case, 2n minus 1 is 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 1. So 
Again, we're only going up to 1, which is also equal to 2. Therefore, left-hand side equals right-hand side for n is equal to 1. So that's step 1 done. Step 2 is to assume that it's true for n is equal to k. And really what that means is that k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 times all the way up to and I'll, um, I'll write this out with the, the second last item in there. So 2k minus 1 times 2k. That is equal to 2 to the power of k times 1 times 3 times 5 times times. Um, I was right, 2, 2 to the k minus 1. That, that's all we really need there. So that's what we've got as step 2. So now step 3 is to show that it's true for n is equal to k plus 1. And so let, let's, maybe I'll start, um, typically what you do is you take the left hand side and the right hand side, you insert k plus 1 and you show that they're equal. What I'll do is, is the first step, I'll, I'll show what is the right hand side um, when I have k plus 1. In, in place of n, so we'll get 2 to the power of k plus 1 times 1 times 3 times 5 times all the way up to 2 times k plus 1 minus 1. And so that's equal to 2 to the power of k plus 1 times 1 times 3 times 5 times, now I'll just expand this out, we get 2k plus 2 minus 1, which is 2k plus 1. So that's kind of what we get. And just because it will be helpful later, what we'll do is we'll write the second last item here. So 2 to the k plus 1, 1 times 3 times 5 times. And the second last item here would be 2, two less than this. So we'd get 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1. And that's because we, we subtract 2. If you remember, these are always going up by 2, so the second last must be 2 less. So 2k minus 1, oh, sorry, 2k plus 1 minus 2 gets you to 2k minus 1. So that's the right hand side. Now let's um, insert k plus 1 for n into the left hand side and see if we can get the same result. So I'll just turn over for that. So our left hand side would be equal to, now if it's n plus 1, if we insert a k plus 1 there, we're just going to end up with k plus 2, k plus 3 and so on. So we'll get k plus 2 times k plus 3 times um, k plus 4 times dot 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 and um, then what I'll do is we'll write out the last two. So here we'd get 2k plus 1 minus 1. So we get 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 times 2 bracket k plus 1. And so now let's just uh, expand upon this a little. Now what I can do, this k plus 1 that's come up at the end, I'm just going to move that to the front, which you can do because we're, we're multiplying. So I'll just write k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 times, and then we'll have um, bracket 2k plus 2 minus 1, which is 2k plus 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get 2k plus 1 times 2. There's still that 2 um, over there at the end. So then what we can write is we'll go k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 times. And what I'll do is maybe write a few more of the prior uh, re uh, items here that we're multiplying in the series. So 2k plus 1, um, we're always going down by 1 in this series because if it's going up by 1, then the prior one here would be 1 less than this. And the one before that 
would be 1 less again. So what we'd get is we'd get 2k minus 1 times 2k times 2k plus 1 times 2. So you see all I've done is I've just inserted a few more items in the series, but I haven't actually changed the series at all. I've just expanded it a little bit. And the reason I do that is because this part here, all the way up to 2k, if we go back to step 2, where we assumed that it was true for n equals k, that's um, exactly what we've got here. So we've, in, in uh, writing out a few of the extra items, we've made it very clear the link between step 3 and step 2, which is often the most challenging part of induction, to get what you end up with in a format that lets you substitute in what you've assumed at step 2. And hopefully that now makes it clear why I spent a little bit of time um, fleshing out our left-hand side and right-hand side and explaining how you can uh, write more items in the series because it's, it's appreciating that that helps us write out um, what we're dealing with in this format. So now I can insert, um, I can insert this result. So we'll get um, 2 to the power of k times 1 times 3 times 5 times all the way up to uh, 2k minus 1, 2k minus 1. So that is uh, just an, a substitution for that bit. So I still need to write the rest times 2k plus 1 times 2. Now what I can do with this 2 here is I can bring it to the front and combine it, which lets us say 2 to the k plus 1. And then we get 1 times 3 times 5 times times 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1. And uh, that, what we've just ended up with, is the right-hand side, 2 to the k plus 1, 1 times 3 times 5 times 2k minus 1 times 2k plus 1. So that is equal to the right-hand side. So now we can say as step four, just our final official step by induction, the statement that we're proving is true for n is equal to one. If it's true for n is equal to one, then it's true for n is equal to two, which means it's true for n equals three and so on, um, you know, i.e. all positive integers. And that's how you go about doing that question. So I think it's where you can get um, caught up in this question, and it's true of most induction questions, is how you can get from what you've assumed to be true in step two, whatever that happens to be, when you're working through step three, how do you get your results in a format that lets you substitute in that step two. To. And in our case, it was just having a bit of an appreciation of what was the series that we're dealing with and kind of fleshing out a few of the extra items in the series that wasn't given it to us in the question, but which, when we do appreciate it, helps us to um, do what we need to do. So I think that was the key to this question. Um, it's a really important technique, I think, because um, the straightforward induction questions will just allow for the substitution quite easily. Um, it'll be quite obvious how you, how you take um, your, your, what you've assumed to be true in step two and get it into step three. The easy induction questions, that's kind of very obvious and straightforward. Where induction can get harder is where the link is not so clear. And so if you are struggling with step three, Sometimes it can be helpful to go all the way back to what you're trying to prove and see if there's any way that you can rewrite it. In this case, it was fairly simple, just fleshing out a few extra items, but sometimes a simple transformation, um, kind of rearranging with algebra can help. Um, it really just depends on the question. Um, so hopefully that's all made sense and you've been able to follow on. And uh, tick boom.